freshman in the starting lineup for Duke. Their sixth different starting lineup this season. And Clemson wins the opening tip as we are underway. Just 173 losses. On the move, swooping in. McCain will drop in the first two. Nice move by the freshman. And we're watching Jared McCain grow right before our eyes. We're pretty much a shooter for the majority of this season, but starting to do more things off the bounce. Starting line for Clemson. Paul getting 20 a game. He's going to need a big one. So Joe Girard. Shefflin has been outstanding on the glass and Clemson on the board. Averaging 81 points a game. They shoot it well. Very nice fall away there for two. And that's the guy they have to get going. Chase Hunter has to be aggressive. Coming up a huge game. 24 points. And a route of Louisville at career high. Filipowski too strong. That's what he can hit, though. He is 40% out there. And that's a differentiator for both these guys. When you look at he and P.J. Hall, both are capable of knocking down the three ball. P.J. on Q stepping up and knocking down the trail three. They got knocking down the three ball and P.J. on the trail. Aggressive tacticals to say the least. Well said on your part. Roach with a pull up from about 12 feet. Well, that's where he missed that free throw earlier. When they win in the ACC, he's one guy. When they lose, oftentimes he doesn't start off. And they drive heavy traffic and made the shot. Dylan Hunter, the line. And the new hairstyle has worked well for Dylan Hunter early in this game. His second basket, he's a little more sleek. Closing in on 2,000 career points. Over the shoulder intended for Shefflin. And that's one you got to get it on the glass. Allow Shefflin to have the opportunity to put it back in. Nothing but net by McCain. Oh. But he steals it. Proctor. Oh. Beetle finding the blue lane. Flips it up there. And it's going to drop. He got the roll on it. Took the hit too. Moments at Florida State, the last time out for the Clemson Tigers attacking the basket and able to finish. A probing in transition right now, looking very comfortable. Myron, what did John Shire tell us about Proctor? Oh my! Oh my! Set up, you dogs and airmen. He's averaging 17 a game. He's been much better since coming back from injury, turned his ankle in the game at Georgia Tech. Ian Shefflin is a guy that can pick up extra possessions on the offensive glass. So you have to know where he is at all times. And on cue, Shefflin comes up with the offensive rebound. Drive straight on. Yes, finally, a three-pointer. And they desperately need Joe Girard, number 11, to show up here in the second half. But it comes off of just as Myron was talking about the glass. You've got to take care of the glass. Shire knows that they can be better. And you always have to account for where Shefflin is. Joe Girard, one for five. And a return by McCain. Gerard feeding up top. Underneath Shefflin waited beautifully. Nice hesitation and got the hoop. He is the key to what their, to their success. Thompson sticking right with Duke here in the second half. McCain to the baseline. Scoops it up. To Durham to be able to be a part of each and every one of his games. Lance and Gina both in the stands here today. Clark got a good look and absolutely buried a three. Gerard giving it up for Godfrey. Godfrey on Filipowski. It rolls off the 10. Back right for Hall and he will lay it in and take the hit. But look at take care of our defensive glass. Another offensive rebound opportunity. Proctor will back it up. Proctor. Trying to get loose on the fall away. Hit it! And he hit the deck. Roach got open, pulls it. The three won't drop. Fortunate break for the Tigers. A little too tricky right there. Yeah, but a dunk there by Shefflin. Nice save. It almost cost him two points. Ian Shefflin has been a difference maker. He does a great job handling a tough pass to finish it off. Young handing off. McCain tied up in the lane. He was blocked out. Here's Proctor with a three. Got it! And Shefflin. Back for Hall. Gerard flips it up and hits two. Shefflin. 
Looking inside, nothing there. And picked off the steal by McCain. He goes in strong and lays it in. Bigger stature than Gerard. Roach gets it in. Filipowski heading for the lane on the spin. He had made it! He hit the shot! And fouled as well! With 15.2 to go! Expect about Kyle Filipowski, regardless of the way the evening has gone for him thus far, still finds a way to go out and make a play. number one to tie the game. Everybody holding their breath here. And he makes the pair. Duke leads 72-71. One second to go. Gerard trying to get it in. Long pass. Knocked around and Duke cradles it and they win the ball game. 72-71. The final today at Cameron Indoor.